No, in, in Japan, uh, the, the, the cost of electricity for residential is about 22 cents, US cents a kilowatt hour. Somewhere between 20 and, yes? Yes, so somewhere between 20 and 25 yen per kilowatt hour. Uh, so keep that, that in mind, 20 plus uh, per kilowatt hour. In California, we pay somewhere between 13 cents, 13 cents is the minimum, the baseline, and if you consume a lot, you would pay up to 30 plus cents a kilowatt hour. So just to give you an indication, so think about 20 cents a kilowatt hour across the board. Um, so let me start with some of the myths in energy and then uh, tell you what I want to tell you in that way. So, um, all right, myth number one, solar is too expensive. Okay, myth number one, solar is too expensive. So uh, let me show you a recent announcement from First Solar. First Solar announced that they're building a power plant and they're gonna sell the power for five cents, 5.7 cents a kilowatt hour. Remember the 20 cents? Five cents per kilowatt hour for solar. Uh, Palo Alto just announced that they signed a 25 year power purchase agreement for seven cents, 7.7 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, if you're in, in the PG&E territory, the least that we pay, we pay, is 13 cents. Palo Alto's gonna buy at seven cents for 25 years. Okay, think about that for a second. Um, in Germany, now let me remind you, Germany has less solar insulation, <coughs> less solar, less sun than Japan. About 10 to 15 percent on average. So when I give you the German numbers, remember that there's, Japan has a little more sun than Germany. Okay, so in Germany, solar is actually driving power, daytime power costs, down by almost 40%, down as compared to 2008. So there's an outfit uh, that has done this analysis, and they figured that in 2012, because of this, Germany saved 5 billion euro because of solar. Now, the feed-in tariff cost 2 billion euro. So net-net, Germany gained 3 billion dollar, euro last year because of solar. Okay, next. Why is this happening? Here's one answer. Over, since the 70s, the cost of solar photovoltaic panels has gone down by a factor of 100x. In the late 70s, uh, solar PV was $65 a kilowatt hour. Today, you can find it at 65 cents per kilowatt hour. In fact, you can buy it at a bit less than that. 100x. And that's why solar is just, solar markets are growing exponentially. Um, so solar is already cheaper than nuclear. In fact, if you look at the crossover, it already happened in 2009. And since then, solar has gone down, what, by two thirds? And this was before the Fukushima Daiichi disaster, in which case, you know, nuclear is gonna go up even more, right? So solar is already cheaper than nuclear. And this doesn't include the massive taxpayer subsidy that, well, guess what? We are the ones, you and me, are the ones who insure the nuclear industry. So if there's a disaster, who pays for that disaster? We do, taxpayers, okay? That is a massive subsidy. So the German government uh, commissioned a report to ask one question. If nuclear were insured by the market, not by the taxpayers, by the market, what would be the premium for, for nuclear energy? And this is the result. Oh, wait, okay, I thought that was coming. So, another myth, I'll come back to that. Another myth, uh, solar is not ready, 
and solar is going to bust the grid, right? It's the end of the world as we know it, um, if we have too much solar. And so the reality is that Germany already has a million solar installations. Did I say Germany had less sun than Japan? Okay. Now, on May 16, 2012, Solar generated 50%, 5-0, 50% of all the power in all the places, in all the country of Germany. 50%. That one afternoon. And Germany is planning to triple solar before 2020. Okay? Triple. So another myth. Solar is, of course, a daytime only thing, right? Because the sun only shines during the day. The fact is this. This is me uh, in Spain at the first base load solar power plant in the world. That's two years ago. 24-7 solar has been here for a couple of years already. 24, did I say 24-7 solar? And that is a very, very cheap form of energy storage. Not for PV, but you know, 24-7 solar is here. We're going to get here in uh, Nevada, actually, a solar plant that is about 10 times this one, this year, later this year. Um, there's a little island in the South Pacific called Tokelau that went from 100% diesel to 100% solar in one year. One year, they made the transition. So when they tell you it's going to take 60 years, eh, yes, there are little islands, but it can be done. And again, this is 24-7 solar with PV and uh, batteries, okay? Happened in one year, it's done, it's a done deal. Um, so, part of what I'm telling you is this. Solar is an exponentially growing market. Solar technologies are improving exponentially. Um, the CEO of Energy, Energy an $8 billion a year US-based uh, energy company, says this about solar. If you haven't paid attention in the last three months, you're way out of date. Things are changing by the minute in solar. Things are improving exponentially. Okay? This is the biggest or one of the biggest game changers in energy in a generation. Okay? And they, in fact, are shifting quickly from conventional uh, fossil-based energy to solar because of that. Um, so let me come back to nuclear. Nuclear is an interesting industry. It's the only industry I know that has negative learning curve. What does that mean, negative learning curve? So the fact is that since the 70s, the cost, the unit costs of building a nuclear plant have gone up and keep going up. I mean, that's the fact. Look at the curve. It's up 10x since the 70s. Now, let me remind you this. Solar is down 100x since the 70s. Nuclear is up 10x since the 70s. What does that mean? That the ratio of solar to nuclear costs have improved by 1,000x. Does that make sense? 1,000x, you can't beat technology cost curves. You just can't. You just can't beat a 1,000x uh, ratio. Next one, please. Citibank did a study and said, no nuclear, uh, not going to happen. Unless you get taxpayer insurance, taxpayer uh, loans, and subsidized power purchase agreements from the government, meaning unless the government takes all the risks and makes all the investments, and we take the downside, that's not going to happen. So. Citibank said it's not economically viable anymore to build nuclear. Um, is it safe? You know, I mean, we're on the hook for trillions of dollars anytime that a nuclear power plant blows up. One and a half percent of all nuclear reactors to date have melted down. Now, they're going to tell you it's safe. Do you feel safe? You know, would you feel safe if I told you 
that the airplane that you're about to board has a 1.5% chance of blowing up. You wouldn't. Why build nuclear when it has a 1.5% uh, chance of blowing up? This is a fact. So what I was telling you before was that we subsidize the insurance to the nuclear industry. How much would they have to pay if the market insured nuclear? Well, the report from the German government says this, $3 per kilowatt hour. $3. Just insuring nuclear would be 15 times more expensive than the retail of power today, the cost of power today, of any power, including nuclear. $3 per kilowatt. That's amazing. Okay? But we pay for that. And the cost of a meltdown, in Germany at least, would be eight trillion dollars. Eight trillion dollars. The whole GDP of Japan is not eight trillion dollars. And that is the cost of a nuclear plant. Do you feel safe? This is a report from the German government. So because of all these things, it's unsafe, it's economically unviable, it's too expensive, too dangerous, Europe is about to decommission pretty much all its nukes, 150 out of about 190 or so. <coughs> so nuclear is obsolete. It's obsolete. And that's why Europe is getting out of that business. And they're getting into the clean energy business. In 2011, two-thirds of all new power capacity in Europe was clean. Half of it was solar, and 20%, 21% was wind. Two-thirds of all new capacity was clean. Okay, that is the way Europe is going. So, what does it all mean for Japan? Let's take a look. Um, so Bloomberg New Energy Finance has done a study, uh, this is from last year, in which they look around the world at grid parity, meaning what we pay uh, the utilities versus the cost of solar. And, you know, Germany's here, little sun. Japan has a little more sun. California is probably somewhere here. Here's Japan. What Bloomberg New Energy Finance concluded was that by 2015, two years, solar will be cheaper than grid in Japan. No subsidy. Two years. Okay? So, go figure. What's the opportunity for solar when it's actually cheaper to put on your rooftop than what Tepco and company are selling you? Right? Next. And... If you look again, go back to Germany, if you look at Germany's uh, feed-in tariff, their feed-in tariff is about 20 yen. 20 yen. Their feed-in tariff is less than the average cost of power in Japan. Already. And part of the reason, so Germany solar installed cost are $2, about $2 per watt. Okay? Now, the reason why, of course, capital costs are low, but the biggest single element in the cost of solar is not PV anymore. PV is not even the, the it's not even close to being the first one. The first thing that we have to work on as we move forward is the cost of capital. Interest rates right now are more important than cost of solar PV in determining the cost of electricity for solar, right? So I did some numbers, quick numbers, and here's what I came up with. If we use Germany's $2, $2.2 a watt, um, and we do 100% debt over 20 years, what would be the cost of solar 
installed, you know, if we vary the rates. So at 0% interest over 20 years, which 0% is pretty low, right? It's below 10 cents. Actually, it's beyond 10 yen per kilowatt hour. And at 10%, it's about 20 to 25. So even at 10%, it's still in the right range of what people are paying for in Japan. Okay? Now, can we do 1%, 0%, 2% in Japan? Let's see, what's the interest rate in Japan? Next. Zero. Interest rates in Japan are zero. There's really no reason why we can't finance solar at 1% or 2%. That's way more than people are getting paid now. Does that make sense? And that'll get a 10 to 20 yen a kilowatt hour cost of electricity for solar. Okay? Now, even if we do 10%, 9%, it's going to be two years before solar is less expensive than grid. Which means one thing. What is the future of energy in Japan? It's the sun. Thank you. <laughs>